my name is Eric Wilkerson. Uh, this festival is called the Isako Festival, and uh, Isako is actually the Tamukan word for uh, celebration or joy. Um, mainly, we're doing this to uh, to uh, kind of get the word out about the Tamukan people. The Tamukan people were the people that lived here and they existed here for thousands of years before European occupation of this of uh, of this continent. Uh, the Tamukan people were very very unique individuals too. Um, <clears throat> they had a lot of qualities about them that uh, were very Amazonian in nature, very Central and South American, but they also had a lot of the traditional qualities of Southeastern Native people too. Not a lot of the nation knows about these people because there are no Tamukans left. Um, I believe the last Tamukan died in around 1789-1790 in Cuba on a sugarcane plantation. The last full blood that is. Um, there may possibly be remnants genetically of these people left in uh, parts of mountainous regions in Cuba but as far as their indigenous home range which is right where we're at right now there are no Tamukans anymore um, so we do this to kind of give a voice to the people that are no longer here anymore especially it's really really good to have people out here that have are of native ancestry we have some of uh, some of the people out here they're not native but they are very sympathetic and they they follow that path that native people have followed for thousands of years also um, <clears throat> but we also have a lot of native people out here that are vendors, people that are doing a little bit of the drumming. We, if you go up to the actual village area, I'm sure you heard a little bit of the drumming and all. That's to give a little bit of contrast between uh, eastern cultures and some of the western cultures as well because I'll be doing uh, southeastern singing and dancing here in a, probably a couple of hours and uh, that's how these people would have celebrated as well. Um, a lot of times when people come to the park, they're they're heavily influenced by the Spanish because there's so much Spanish, Spanish, Spanish all the time because this is a Spanish-occupied territory. However, um, the Tamukan people lived here for thousands of years. I mean, the ancestors of the Tamukan people, they were literally hunting mastodons. Um, so you're talking about a continuous occupation of this area for at least four to 6,000 years. These people were the first in the Americas to uh, start developing pottery. They had incredibly uh, diverse systems of living. Um, they were matrilineal in nature, which means you know everything outside of hunting, fishing, protection, and warfare. It was controlled by women. Women held a very, very, very strong spot in, uh, in their culture and in society, uh, much as they do today even. A lot of native women, my grandmother, for example, she was the absolute like pivotal point in our entire family um, and she remained that way up until her death too. Um, You'll find uh, there's a common thread you know between uh, historical native people and modern native people and we do events like this to honor our ancestors and to keep that link to the people that existed thousands of years prior to now because to me it still has a very very competent structure and um, <clears throat> I like to try to share it in a very authentic way. Um, there's been a lot of commercialization to uh, powwows and native events and everything like that. You'll notice there's not any PA speakers here. Everything's done in a very, very uh, personal manner because we try to encourage people to get involved with the individuals that are performing here, with the individuals that are selling their products here. And as you see behind me, they're actually making their products on this site right now. And uh, to us, that's an absolute uh, link that connects us to the people that lived here. Because when people come on these grounds, you got to understand these people lived here, they loved here, they fought here, they died here, they shared their culture here. And more importantly, they shared what they knew with their children, which is what we do today. Because, you know, children only represent about 25% of the population, but they're literally 100% of our country. So that's very, very, <laughs> got to deal with that a little bit, but no yeah. biggie. Um, so they're very, very important. Still today, they're very, very important to Native people all over the world. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jorge. It's in spirit, it's consciousness. When you're walking somewhere and you feel her web, you either jerk back or you slow down and you say, excuse me, if I have offended this path, I mean no harm. And your consciousness will then connect with that fiber mm -hmm. that only and exclusively is Spider Woman. She makes material 
that brings food to her domain. She doesn't look for Super Walmart, <laughs> District of Columbia, or Chase Manhattan. She puts it on a place where she catches just enough that won't break that fiber, that steel, that every man-made garbage can't do. Each one of them spiders is exclusive, like women. They're exclusive, but they're making them Cracker Jack boxes. Mm -hmm. We get our names from that consciousness of our clan mother. And she's all part of the universe, way up there. And her fingers reach way back. The stardust, the path of the ant, the good water, the one who eats fishes as he's little and comes out as a dragonfly, the praying mantis, the monarch butterfly, the migrating stardust. Just because they give you a reservation, don't look for a menu. <laughs> Get out there and find the blood of the earth. Know that their tin can is empty, where they threw out their silverware because they want fast food, McDonald hamburgers, and synthetic life. Turn their logos into that Roman mile that reminds them we see you, we know you, we've even taken your salad fork and turned it into an ornament. We know that you've sweetened the water even though you've turned the snow yellow and added lots of sugar. We understand staying calm. All this will come to an end. But more importantly, we've captured life and we've transferred that spoon into a motion, not a trophy, not turtle soup. Migration of the salmon. They're getting wiped out. This guy is as balanced as this guy. This guy, he goes away for a whole decade, comes right back to his very spot where he was born and relives it after traveling in the great waters. Go out there and get hijacked by an Indian and get wild. It's the only little place that I don't even see him. I don't hear him. And he's not nervous because that isn't Agent Orange. That isn't Napalm. That's just somebody drawing attention. You go out there and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Thank you.